In the past few years, the world has woken up to China's effort to vacuum up the world's technologies. It's a systematic effort coordinated by the Communist Party, and this is how it works. First, through cyber spying and stealing trade secrets, like Su Bin did, which one commission estimates costs the U.S. economy between 200 and 500 billion dollars every single year. Second, by encouraging students at Western universities, Chinese students at Western universities, to spy. This does not mean that all Chinese students are spies, far from it, but increasingly they're getting pressure from their government to do so. Third, by investing in some of our most advanced technology companies. In recent years, Chinese have been involved in 10 to 15 percent of all U.S. venture deals. And finally, by forcing Western companies to hand over intellectual property as the price of doing business in China. Now, China also has a very impressive, entirely legal, whole-of-government effort to educate its scientists, to provide lots of funding for key technologies like semiconductors and AI, and then, because the Chinese Communist Party has such a tight grip on its private sector, to ensure that anything learned in a private lab goes to benefit the Chinese government and military. Through all these means, China is rapidly catching up. We used to collaborate effectively between the private and public sector, but no longer. Numbers are hard to compare, but in recent years, the Chinese government has vastly increased its research and development funding, so it now spends nearly 9% of its budget. The U.S. spends less than 3%. Compare that to the space age in the 1960s, where we spent nearly 12 percent. And finally, we used to set the global values and standards for technology, but no longer. To compete, we do not have to declare the Chinese people the enemy, and we do not have to close ourselves off from the world. Here's how we, all of us working together, including you, could do it. On the global level, we have to stop going it alone. After World War II, a remarkable group of people came together and created the United Nations, the World Health Organization, and the IAEA that governs nuclear power. It was an enormous effort, and it paid off. Well, it's time for another such effort. We could create, for example, a Tech 10 group of like-minded countries, including Israel, India, Japan, and others, that would meet regularly to set the global values and standards for technology, to make sure that AI doesn't invade your privacy, and that there are norms to govern cyber war. China wouldn't be excluded from this. It would just have to accept the same high standards. We also made to, need to make sure that trade in technology is fair with our allies, not alone, as we're currently doing. There should be costs to countries like China who steal and extort to get an unfair advantage. The U.S. government should get into the act. We absolutely must increase our federal R&D budget by billions of dollars every year. Currently, our government and military are hopelessly dependent on the private sector. We also must ensure that there's much more competence in the U.S. government about technology. Did you all see the Zuckerberg hearings last year? I was left feeling that many of our members of Congress are terrifyingly unprepared to govern advanced tech. Time to change that. We must improve our science and technology education. We just can't be the engine of progress if our children can't do math. It's not just governments. All of us, including all of you here and watching online, have a role to play. If you work in a private sector tech company or a university, wake up. A cyber threat from China or elsewhere is probably already within your system. This is not the U.S. government just being paranoid. And please, within reason, begin cooperating with your own government again. All of the legendary Silicon Valley companies, Fairchild Semiconductor, Varian, and others, did this.
Within reason, we must become patriots again, rather than just fixating on becoming unicorns. Together, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Together, we can bend history. And if we create a level playing field, we can even cooperate with China on tech that helps all of us. Solar, wind, biotech, things that help all humans. We're a magnanimous people with big ideas. We're being called on now to make a once-in-a-generation effort to steer technology in the right direction. Let's get started.